Hi everyone, I am going to show you how you can schedule a post to your Facebook page. Yep. And why might you want to do that? Well, you might want to schedule a bunch of posts in the future because you won't have time to be able to do it. Uh, you might be going out of town and you just need a bunch of posts to go out. Well, guess what? This helps you do that. So we're going to show you how you could do that, create a bunch of posts, or at least create a post and schedule it out. Now, this is going to be through Meta Business Suite and it right it is going on Facebook but it's going to be through Meta Business Suite which is the overall business platform for Facebook. And so if you do want to do it on your personal page you will have to go to this spot where it says turn on professional mode. Once you turn it on it sort of converts it to a page and then you could link it to your Meta Business Suite to be able to schedule posts or create posts to schedule out. So that's what you'd have to do. Again, if you want to schedule this on your personal page, you have to go here, go to the three dots. This is the three dots right here. Scroll down, look for turn on professional mode, switch that up. Once you do that, go back to Meta Business Suite, log in, make sure it's linked, um, and then you are ready to go. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you that right now, how you can then schedule, schedule out a post or a bunch of posts on your Facebook page. Okay, so what you want to first do, of course, is go to create your post. And you might want to stay also to the end because I could show you how or I will show you how you can also do this for your Instagram page. So but this is mostly focused on Facebook right now. But if you do want to see how this works with Instagram, wait till the end. OK, so we are going to create our post here now. Now, remember, when we create our post to the left here, we get to see the preview on the right. So which is pretty cool. So let's go here. And so I'm going to schedule. I'm going to do that, actually. That is the link to the post. But now I'm going to copy the content. Actually, we will take this out and I will then put the right post in there and let's copy that from Jasper and there. Okay. AI language models have been creating a buzz in the market and we are here to compare the best of the best for you. Watch our latest YouTube video where we compare a uh, uh, Bard, Bing and Chat GPT. There we go. All right. Now. We are going to add a photo for that, and that's going to be from our desktop over here. I believe that's it. Just to match our post. Okay. So now we have it. AI language models have been creating a buzz in the market. We're here to compare the best for you. Sorry, guys, I'm reading this because I'm actually going to post it in case you want to go see it, how it looks. So get ready to explore the world of AI generated content and learn about the pros and cons of each model. Join the conversation. Let us know which AI model you prefer in the comments below. Sorry, you just have to double check your posts. It's very important. It's really, really important just to make sure that what's going out is really, really, really legit. OK, so we have the posts now we have over here, BizCron Media and stuff. Now, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens now to schedule it out. Now, if I want to publish it now, you see it over here. It says publish now. Right. And if I do that, it's pretty much like this clicking publish. And what happens right away is that just publishes immediately. OK, now we do have to add the link to the video. So I'm going to do that over here. Um, OK. That's OK. We'll just add it over there. So the link's in there. OK, now we are good to go. OK, so publish now. That's what we have. Now we go to schedule, actually, which is the next one. OK, so this is why we are here. We want to be able to schedule our posts out. As you can see, the scheduling option is over here. Now, if I am going to schedule it out here, um, let's see. We are May 11th and this is 115 which is uh, a couple minutes away from now. So that seems to be very, very right. So just let's just do 215 just to make sure in case we need to come back and make a change. All right, let's schedule this out. Maybe later it's asking us to boost it, but maybe later now this should take us to our planner. 
right? This should take us to our planner. And as you can see, in our planner, we get to see all the old posts. Today is Thursday the 11th. This is pretty much all what's gone out today. And this is what's going to go out at 2.15 that we just scheduled, as you can see. 2.15 that we just scheduled. And I can actually publish it now if I wanted to. Now, I'm going to go back here and show you all I have to do if I want to do the same for Instagram. Yes, the same for Instagram. We'll go back to create a post. And remember, when we created our post, how did we do it? We picked our page on top there. So let me let me copy the post real quick here and come back here and just drop it down again. Okay. Now, if I wanted this to go on Instagram, I would want to make sure, as you can see, that I click this post to Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so here it is. So now we have Facebook and Instagram. Now, if you notice, I cannot publish it. Why? To publish this post on Instagram, you must select an image or video. Please des deselect Instagram placement if you would like to publish a text only post. So, what this tells you is that if you are going to do uh, biz, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Facebook and Instagram, you need an image. If you remember when we just did Facebook, we were good with the link alone. And with the link, we were fine. And so if I take that out now, you'll see again, I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna add the link again. So you get to see the link and you see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, hopefully. So you see that here? Now, even if I go to Instagram, See that? It still does not work. So note to self, note to self. That's why I sort of pushed the Instagram to the end so it won't be confusing. But the main thing is that for it to go on Instagram, you will need to add the photo. And that's what's really important. Now, see that? It now says publish, as you can see. And... Um, now we can do our scheduling also. So now we can schedule. And when we schedule this now, we can actually separate the scheduling. As you can see, see that? That's May 11th, 2023 for Facebook. May 11th, 2023. I can go over here and switch the time. And as you can see, it's 118 on Facebook, but it's 218 on Instagram. And the main reason I could schedule it right now is because I have the image there. Now, we have already done Facebook. Why would I want to double schedule that? So I can actually remove Facebook, excuse me, and just leave it for Instagram in this instance. And it just makes all the adjustments, as you could see. And here we go as we get to see it. And so what we're going to do now, again, is schedule this out uh, to two. 18 p.m. That sounds like a plan. Or let's just do four because a lot of people in the evening get to visit their Instagram page. So let's schedule. Now, when we go in our planner again, this is Thursday the 11th. We're going to scroll down. Now we see that we have 215 scheduled for Facebook and 418 scheduled for Instagram on our Facebook page. So that's how you can go about doing that. If you wanted to schedule a post to your Facebook page, go to Meta Business Suite, create the post, and schedule it out on Facebook, and also include Instagram if necessary. I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, and if you want to see great content that'll make your life easier, subscribe to our channel. Hopefully this was helpful again. Take care.